going back to Pasadena? Can't imagine what it's like there now. Hey, it's a Pacific Division uniform. Eh, he's a long way from home. I hear you have something for me. I do. Commander Baron wanted me to show you how to customize your weapons. Something I've been working on for some time now. You see, your standard phased plasma is in a 40 watt range. However, you could upgrade its damage, shooting rate, or stability using decoded chips. The same ones you've been collecting from fallen terminators. You can do the upgrades yourself. When you're done, go to the quartermaster. I believe he has something for you as well. I did it. Seems easy. Huh, good for you. Uh, now please leave.
I'm Private Rivers. You got something for me? I've been told you're using old goggles from the Pacific Division. Those aren't even standard issue anymore. Commander Baron asked me to hook you up with the latest version. These babies come equipped with a high-quality camera. What do I do with them? The idea is that when you reach Pasadena, you'll take pictures of Skynet's offensive installations. When you find them, put the goggles on, then aim and shoot. The pictures will be automatically sent to a military satellite that we hijacked from Skynet. They'll give us the necessary intel to prepare for when the Annihilation Line comes. That's it? That's it. We have a place ready for you here when you come back. Before you leave, take a look and see if there's anything else you need. I can get my hands on almost anything, but I don't normally hand out freebies. Anything? That's it then. You're leaving us and going back to Pasadena. Not yet. I need to collect the rest of my stuff from our hideout. Fine by me. Let's go. Please, you need to tell me what happened there. Where's my husband? We were ambushed on our way out of the metro station. There was nothing we could do. He died protecting us. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me this. You did good by telling her. I don't care what Baron says. That woman deserved to hear the truth. Not knowing would destroy her. Believe me. Aaron would kill to know what happened to her husband. Patrick! Look, look! Ryan fixed it! Ryan fixed the bus! <laughs> That's great news! Did you help? No. I was there and helping Mark. He's doing much better now. I hear that you fixed the bus. Yeah, finally. What about you? You meet the resistance? Yeah, finally. I'll talk to Aaron. I heard about Mark. What happened? It was a close call, but he's on the mend now. 
and I have to thank you for that. So, thank you. So, what's new with you? I've been ordered to go to Pasadena to collect some intel. Is there anything you need from there? Right now, I don't need anything. But there's something you might be interested in. When we were running away the other day, Colin was supposed to bring something. Boxes of adrenaline, painkillers, and who knows what else. Since he didn't bring anything with him, I'd imagine everything's still there. Those stimulants might be useful to you. When used in small doses, they can improve focus and alertness. If I were you, I'd take a look. You never told me you had a husband. <laughs> you never asked. Did you know each other before the war? We lived together even before the bombing. I've been dealing with him and his boring stories for over 30 years. I must be getting old, because I wouldn't mind hearing one right now. Back at the camp, I used to think that the machines kept Peter alive to get me to cooperate. So when there was an opportunity to run, we had to take it. And we did. We ran with this little child that I had started to love. I felt that she was mine. What was her name? Her name was Taylor. Peter said it sounded too manly. So I said, good, we'll finally have a man in the family. But as you know nowadays, no story has a happy ending. She died shortly after. We buried her, and we stopped talking to each other. Eventually, the Annihilation Line caught up with us. We got separated. I ran away. He did too. At least, I hope he did. That's all. You didn't change your mind about joining the Resistance? No. I'm packed and ready to go. You're the one that kept saying that we're going when in fact we're not. Oh, you really pissed me off, I must say. took a bite out of me. I don't remember getting this cut. Yeah, that one's on me. I tried to shave you two days ago and you moved. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Jacob! Lord tells me you're looking for volunteers that'll join the resistance. You can count me in. It only seems fair since I owe you my life. Looks like things are finally starting to go our way.
Moving out? I am. Do you need anything from Pasadena? No. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. There's nothing that I need from there. I see you got that bus running again. You didn't think I would, did you? Well, don't wrap me off just yet. I still got it. Anyhow, I got something for you. It's called a termination knife. It's supposed to shut down a terminator with a single stab. So if you sneak in and you want to take them down silently, well, that's your go-to weapon. I guess you could say it terminates terminators. Wow, that was almost as bad as Jan. What's on your mind? Well, you really got me thinking about old Tucker again. In times like these, I wouldn't mind having him around. He always know what to do. He was the only one who didn't lose his mind after Judgment Day. What did he do? He finally found me hiding below the stage. I was such a nervous wreck. So to try to calm me down, he just said, that band sucked anyway. Tucker said, we need to be calm right now. I listened to him. We all did, survivors from the concert. Did you contact the military? Well, we uh, eventually found a military base. We assumed that we were safe. But all we found was one crazy dude responsible for nuclear missiles. His whole job was to watch a button that he might never have to press. Imagine what he felt when Skynet sent those nukes without his knowledge. I wonder if he ever pushed that button after Judgment Day. <laughs> might as well, right? Finally, we found a couple houses, but the people there were as confused as we were. All the communication went to shit. Tucker managed to find some batteries, and uh, we sat in front of our boom box. We started to list cities to avoid. Cities that were hit by the nuclear bombs. How many cities were hit? I don't know exactly how many, but it took them a couple of minutes just to go through the A's. We looked at each other crying. We just wanted to go home and be with family, but Tucker said that for now, the safest place there is is right where we were. So we decided to stay and start a camp. Where did you get that? A group of travelers came by earlier. We traded, talked for a while. Actually, they said something that got my attention. Something about meeting a guy out there who kept asking about Jacob Rivers. He said he didn't seem right. You don't think it's that thing that you told us about before, do you? Sorry, I probably should have said something right away. Have you changed your mind about joining the Resistance? No. No, I have not. I think I'm better off anywhere that bus takes me. I'm moving out tomorrow. Anyone who wants to join is more than welcome to, but I don't suppose you're interested. Going to Pasadena? Yep, I am. I have a mission for you, a secret mission, super important. Probably the most important of them all. What is it? Could you bring me my chalk? Chalk? Yeah, it's at my house. 
The one with the beware sign on the side. Could you bring it to me? I mean, if you could. I did bring you that bullet one time. I'll see what I can do. Cool.
strong possibility that you'll encounter a T-47 there. It's Skynet's newest Walker-type HK. If you can, take a photo of a functioning unit that we can analyze. Over and out.
and rig this place with traps. <laughs> Better be careful.
has to be a hospital nearby.